Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. My name is Christiana Sagi. On this channel, I will be teaching about international law, and these teachings will be in the form of short weekly lecture series. Over time, I will be surfacing varied concepts of international law. When and where applicable, these concepts will be analyzed and brought to you as it relates to current trends in international law as they arise. At the end of this lecture, you will find the transcript of the lecture in the link below. Also, for current trend and analysis in international law, you can subscribe to my blog. All the details you will find in the comment section below. For the 25th lecture in this lecture series, we will be discussing about the Economic and Social Council, ECOSOC. ECOSOC is one of the six principal organs of the United Nations established by Article 7 of the United Nations Charter. In this lesson, we will be unpacking the functions of ECOSOC, its composition, and its mode of operation. We will also be highlighting some achievements of ECOSOC. So let's dive in. What is ECOSOC? ECOSOC is an organ of the United Nations charged with advancing international, economic, social, cultural, educational, and health-related matters as they concern the overall mandate of the United Nations. In this capacity, ECOSOC coordinates with the United Nations partners with the rest of the world, and surfaces global issues within its mandates to encourage the formation of agreements and coherent policies to tackle issues within international, economic, social, cultural, educational, and health-related issues. These may present by preparing drafts, conventions to be submitted to the General Assembly, or by raising awareness of emerging issues and recommending programs and events that promote respect for human rights. According to Article 61.1 of the United Nations Charter, ECOSOC consists of 54 members, and these 54 members are drawn out of the 193 member states of the United Nations. The members of ECOSOG are elected by the General Assembly for an overlapping three-year term. Each elected member is entitled to have one representative on the council who has one vote on issues deliberated on at the council. At the moment, the members of ECOSOG are Angola, Argentina, Armenia, Australia, Austria, Bangladesh, France, Gabon, Germany, Guatemala, Indonesia, Iran, Jamaica, Japan, Kenya, Latvia, Liberia, Libya, Luxembourg, Madagascar, Mali, Republic of Benin, Bolivia, Botswana, Brazil, Bulgaria, Canada, Mexico, Montenegro, Netherlands, Nicaragua, Nigeria, Norway, Pakistan, Panama, Paraguay, Portugal, Republic of Korea, Russian Federation, Saudi Arabia, China, Colombia, Congo, Egypt, Ethiopia, Finland, Solomon Island, Switzerland, Thailand, Turkmenistan, Ukraine, United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, United States of America, and Zimbabwe. ECOSOP meetings are presided over by presidents elected from the member states of the council to serve a one-year term, also known as a session. Currently, the president of ECOSOP is His Excellency Muni Akram, the ambassador and permanent representative of Pakistan, who was elected in July 2020. The president, along with four vice presidents, make up what is called a bureau. Essentially, the main functions of the bureau are to propose the council's agenda, draw up program of work, and organize the council session with the support of the United Nations Secretariat.
ECOSOL organizes its activities through short sessions, roundtables, preparatory meetings, and panel discussions. To fulfill its mandate as described in the United Nations Charter, the Council works through subsidiary bodies which include regional ECOSOL commissions, functional commissions, expert bodies of governmental experts, and experts serving in their individual capacity, standing committees, other related bodies, and ad hoc bodies. These subsidiary bodies assist the Council in reviewing thematic or region-specific issues. At ECOSOC meetings, the Council may invite representatives of special agencies to the United Nations to join in deliberation, where an issue under deliberation is one within an agency's expertise and mandate. However, such agencies cannot vote. Overall, the deliberations uh, by the Council may present as resolutions, decisions, or reports. A report is an official record of ECOSOC's session to the General Assembly. These reports keep the General Assembly, that's the Assembly of all the Member States of the United Nations, abreast of the activities of the Council for the entire preceding session. In this lesson, we have examined briefly the functions of another principal organ of the United Nations, ECOSOC. We have addressed its composition and surfaced in brief, how the council organizes to fulfill its mandate. So I wanna say thank you so very much for joining in. Remember to like, share, subscribe, leave your comments in the comment section below and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when there's a new video. We would also like to connect with you on Facebook and Twitter. Let us know the content you'd like to see. Thank you.